um, hello, my name is Freya. Um, you might just have seen me do some magic or you might just be about to see me do some magic, all depending on how Tom has set this up. Um, so either before or after, um, I will do a poem called C, um, which I recorded recently with Jack Hinks, really incredibly talented musician. So if you do find yourself with some extra time at the moment, um, do go and check him out. He's super talented. And um, my friend Stuart and I shot a film or a video for it, um, which is also available online if anyone wants to have a look. Um, the poem feels topical um, just because um, it involves a C. Uh, not naming any names, but this is, or that's not what the poem was originally um, written about. But anyway, uh, enough. Here is C. The world is ending. And no. I don't mean in a metaphorical way or that a meteor is on the way to strike us out. No aliens are invading Earth. No plague is making people eat brains. Oh, wait. Maybe there is. Maybe that plague is something we can't see eating our brains. Something we must see, maybe we're eating our own brains. Something starting with the sea. Capitalism, consumerism, conservatism, comfortability. The world is ending because we refuse to see the reality of the seas. There's a sea and ocean. The sea. I admire the sea. How wave can pave the road for marine life, for our life, for, for the energy of our life. Yet as a thank you, we throw our trash at it. Plastic sea. Now she, the sea, is consequently rising to fight back. While our brains are eaten by laziness, stubbornness, and unwillingness, there is one sea we have to see. Change. Change to our behavior. Climate change. Our selfishness. Our self-obsessiveness. Our unwillingness to change because of convenience and because of capital. See. I like trees, the grandness of their branches, how they branch out, reaching far, their network, their kindness. They literally soak up our flaws, carbon dioxide, and other sea. Did you know that trees share their nutrients with other trees that are struggling? If only we could try to see that, learn from that, from nature, and share our nutrients, our wealth with those struggling, instead of buying, 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 consuming, 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 more, 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 more is not enough for us. But it is for trees. There is no sea in tree, but there is in cut, and we're cutting them down to make room for our comfortability, our capitalism, our consumption. If only the plague was consumption, there's a cure for that. See, let's cure stupidity. People dying is environmentally friendly, isn't it? Well, that make us see that we're not in control anymore. Control. That's the big sea. We can even control the weather now. Did you hear about those artificial rain clouds they made in Dubai to make it rain so that people can go into the shopping centers? Cloud seed. That's exceeding control. If only we could do that where there's drought, where people are suffering, where animals are suffering, that would literally make us control the climate. Animals. They developed the ability to see for survival. So did we originally, yet we're acting like we're blind, leaving behind those we cannot see. While Baloo the bear understands the beauty and bear necessities, we do not. Hakuna Matata. Animal worries were limited before we came along. Extinction. There is a sea in that. Extinct is what they will be, what trees will be, what the sea will be, what we will be. If we do not change and try to save all beings, we will consequently compromise our children's future. Consequences. Capital C. Climate change is a consequence of cutting down trees, of consumerism, of capitalism, of our comfortability, of our conservatism, and our complete unwillingness to change to the extent we need to, to not compromise our children's future. Compromise. And now they see that's not so hard compromise. We do it all the time when money is involved. Do I buy a car or computer? Computer, car, both? Standard or next day delivery? How about we compromise in the places where it really matters? Where it affects the bigger picture? Cutting down on stuff. On consumption. To save our children. There is a sea in children and they march for their future, knowing that every mile will be worth their while and the right path is not always the easiest one. There's a sea and march. Let's march with them and let them teach us how to see. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy Tom's typewriter open mic. Yay! I don't know what that was. Cool. Bye!